at the end of the day, if anyone has been traveling through DFW, um, you can see in our existing terminals the opportunity. And for those concessionaires that are currently at DFW that are doing business, um, it just warms the cockles of my heart to talk about the infrastructure is going to be redone. Because normally on Friday evening, that's about when I get the phone calls of something has busted or need of repair. So the thought of having all new infrastructure is just outstanding. And to complement that and have um, new concession opportunities that are, that are rightly placed near passenger flows and that are contemporary looking, I think is just a lucky strike extra. So I am just very, very elated. And I know that in regards to going forward, we are creating the best that we can in terms of making it a, a success opportunity for our passengers, for our concessionaires, and for DFW. That being said, um, this information has been shared. The demographics of the terminal is still out there, it has not changed. Terminal A is predominantly our business traveler, a highly connecting passenger, uh, traveling from all points of the U.S. Uh, through DFW. So as you look at what those opportunities are, you start thinking about what, are, what will the traveling public need as they are connecting through DFW and particularly since a lot of these packages, which Michael will talk about a little bit later, are really on the specialty retail side and on the amenity side. Um, just kind of get your brain going and start thinking about that. Um, we've got lots of information in regards to what that passenger looks like, what the, the segments look like, who our primary segments are in terms of their spend. And this information has been made available to us through an outside source by using real information from my passengers. Um, whether it's appending their license plates for those that are originating at DFW to their spend and where they spend it, or by uh, talking to our passengers inside the terminal building and um, appending that information so that we can find out what's happening on the connecting side. So we've got some rich information that should help you as you start targeting your product mix and offerings for uh, the passengers. And in regards to our goals, um, we are definitely looking for the best in class, regional, local, and national concepts. Uh, we're looking for single operators, large operators, and joint ventures. So we try to design the packages in such a manner that everyone has the opportunity to participate. We want to exceed our customers' needs and their expectations. We want to increase our revenue and provide opportunities for economic growth, not only for you, but for the region and for DFW. And as mentioned very briefly, we have expanded our concession space. By being able to use both sides of the corridor, we're able to make our locations larger, um, more visible, and to actually increase the overall square footage of concession space in all of our legacy uh, terminals. And uh, this is just a brief view in regards to what we already have out there, and I'm hoping that there's going to be some music to this. I am hoping it's going to be some music to this, because this is such a great, great, great deal. I'm like... That's why we have all these technical people here. All right, how do I go back? This video was um, actually put together of our winning concepts thus far, um, the bids that have been approved by our board of directors, and, um, and it looks like I'm getting close. More, more, more.
Well, this is where I need Michael Baldwin. He could get up here and he could do Oh, 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 yes, yes, I love it. So I'd like to see shops. Restaurants. It's branded. Retail outlets. Restaurants. Shops. Japanese restaurant. Uh, shop. Branded places. And good drinks. Gotta have good <laughs> drinks. I look for restaurants which don't make me wait longer. Speed. Quick service. Get in and get out. Fast. Good food. Quick food. What separates us completely from everybody else is what's right behind me, this big open pit. Wider selection of the fast food restaurant. It's really incredible concept. Chipotle, guacamole, cheddar, blue cheese, jalapeno burger. Green chili, guacamole, and pepper jack. be looking for something that's healthy. healthy. Uh, I like to find things that are healthy. I like to find something that's healthy. Low calorie, green vegetables, fresh food. convenience shop to pick up any last minute items that I needed. And souvenirs. Literature, reading material. The electronic store. The electronics. There's always a lot of women in airports and we love jewelry, so. Restaurants, someplace where I can sit down and eat. An Italian restaurant would be nice. It's a Mexican restaurant. Nice. Chinese restaurant. More upscale restaurants. Good food, of course, a great concept. Uh, and I think it's something about filling the void. Something that it hasn't done before, and if it has, it has to have a twist to it.
So as you can see, you're going to be in some great company if your concept is selected. And I'm going to veer a little bit from my script, and I want to have those that have won bids that have been recommended to our board in this past May. Can you just stand up? I'd like for you guys to give them a nice, warm round of applause. We uh, reviewed from a selection committee, and they'll go through all this process in a moment, over, close to 150 um, proposals and um, some really, really great concepts, ones that would make um, folks stay up at night, and um, and it wasn't for lack of that we didn't get some great concepts. And for those that submitted concepts that didn't win this time, please resubmit. We got B, C, and E, and D is going to be rolling around also in a couple of years. Um, you had some great concepts. These guys rose to the top, and um, you may want to mix and mingle. So uh, remember those faces, and. Um, I'd just like to congratulate those that have won because it was uh, a monumental feat in regards to the things that they brought forward and just strongly encourage those that did not win this past go round. You had some great concepts. We've had lots of debriefs. So um, please, please, we've got, um, this isn't the pitch for terminals B and E, but that's coming in less time than I want to even think. But um, keep those in mind as you start thinking about what you'd like to bring forward in the future. So with that, I think I'm done for the rest until I say goodbye, and I'm going to bring up um, Mr. Baldwin.